If you're wanting to learn the harp and you're thinking of teaching yourself, then this is the video for you. Yay! Hello everyone, I'm Christy Lynn from christylynnmusic.com and welcome to Harp Help, where every Thursday we grow together in our musical journey as harpists. I know there are a lot of you out there who are already teaching yourself to learn to play the harp or maybe you've always dreamed of playing the harp and it's kind of just been out of reach so now you're busy saving up all the money you have to purchase your own harp and then you're planning on teaching yourself to play. But maybe you have some concerns about whether it's possible to teach yourself to play. I know there's some negative voices out there telling people that maybe it's not possible, but I really do think it's possible and I want to chat to you about how to go about that and maybe some of the things you should consider along the way. There are a lot of different reasons why people want to learn to play the harp and let me just chat about what are some of the options for you. Some people learn to play as a child and they want to go step by step through classical technique and end up playing in an orchestra and so it's very important that they have a solid grounding of technique at each step in the process. But others of us learn to play as an adult and we have very different goals depending on the person. Some of us want to go immediately into performing. Like me, I was already singing and playing the piano and I wanted to learn to, to do the same with the harp. So it was important for me to be able to express myself with the music but also learn really solid technique along the way so that I could be performing and learning more complex stuff. But I know some people are more aiming to serve others with their music in um, a therapy kind of context or some people are just wanting to play for their own enjoyment and don't even want to be playing the music for others at all. Some people are um, have a, a little bit more finances to set aside for harp lessons and really want to learn things um, step by step and have a program that gets them exactly where they want to be but other people approach it really casually and don't really mind so much about doing things properly they just want to explore the instrument and i think all of these are valid ways to approach the harp and different ways of learning are going to work for different people so if you're someone like me and you really like to have someone tell you what homework to do um, how to do it step by step and I really love to have feedback to know that I'm doing things properly then you might have the kind of personality that works really well with harp lessons. Um, for some people it's more important to have a teacher than for others. But there are a lot more resources to teach yourself than there used to be. So for example when my teacher if she wanted to improve her technique in a way that um, she maybe didn't have the resources directly around her she wouldn't have been able to go onto YouTube and look at tutorials of other harpists, watch other harpists play on videos. She had to wait to be able to see people playing in person or maybe have a masterclass with a harpist when she visited another country. So things have really changed in the way that we have access to so much online. These days, uh, self-taught harpists can go much further on their own. For example, even when you're at purchasing a book for beginner harpists teaching yourself to play a lot of those books have DVDs or that go along with it and videos where you can see the position of the hands learn about technique and that never used to be available there's also lots of harp festivals where you can attend and maybe have once off classes you can have the virtual harp summit where free of charge you can watch all the videos during the time of the festival and that's really amazing to get so much input online like that and I think in that way we can teach ourselves technique and learn a lot more from the other side of the world than we used to be able to where um, people would really just be able to learn from a book if they didn't have a teacher and kind of have to read in between the lines and experiment a lot and it could be a bit of a um, trial and error basis whereas now there's a lot more information available. Another thing is having a once-off consultation with the teacher. If you can't do that in real life, it would be really great to do it over Skype as well. For example, I do once-off consultations for people who are teaching themselves to play the harp. They can have one lesson with me where I'll give a whole lot of feedback and encouragement and give some tips on what things they can focus on. And that's really helpful for people along their journey. 
But I also just wanted to say that it really is important to look at your personality and your goals for learning to play the harp because teaching yourself is not for everybody. If you want to get the full package of support and encouragement, then the easiest way to do that is through weekly lessons. On your own, it's kind of hard, harder to progress in all these areas because you have to seek out all those uh, aspects. So you don't get it all delivered to you on a plate like a teacher would and give you all the support and encouragement in one little package. If you're teaching yourself, you need to figure out what you need and then go and look for it. And sometimes that can be a bit of a tricky process and it takes more effort to fill in those gaps. A good technicia, a good technicia, <laughs> a good teacher will give you more than technique and just pieces. They actually push you to go further than you would think of going on your own. They kind of pinpoint weak areas and give you a lot of encouragement and support. And very importantly, they help you to choose pieces that are just right for your level of development. Sometimes when we're teaching ourselves, that can be one of the struggles to choose a piece that's not too far beyond your current ability because otherwise it's really frustrating and your technique can't support you to be able to learn that. So there are a lot of things that a teacher will give you and maybe you just need to consider depending on all your goals and personality traits because you really have to be very proactive to get all those things if you're teaching yourself to play. It's not impossible but it's just a cautionary note to say that it is a little bit harder. I'm currently working on something that I'm really excited about. I can't tell you guys all the details yet but I'm very excited to be able to provide you another whole level of support if you're learning, teaching yourself to play the harp. And it's gonna be a great resource for, for harpists who are just wanting a little bit more encouragement and support and um, kind of learning aids along the way. So please keep a watch out if you're teaching yourself to play and you'd like to have a little bit more support. And I'd love to hear in the comments about the type of support that you would really appreciate. And maybe I'll be able to include this in the thing that I'm currently developing. Um, so put down in the comments, what areas are you struggling in when you're teaching yourself to play? Maybe you're coming up with some roadblocks and it's, it's really been a tough one and you're seeing your progress plateau a little bit. It's not too late. Things can change. So let us know what you're struggling with and the others of us, me and other harpists who are watching this video, can maybe give you some important encouragement and a few tips if you would like. Let's support each other. If you have any suggestions for self-taught harpists or people who are currently learning to play, then also put that down in the comments so that they can learn from your experience and we can all help each other because we're in this together. It's not something that um, you need to feel isolated about. Um, there are so many resources out there and we can help each other to discover those resources. So if you're watching this video and you're on my channel for the first time, welcome. I'm so happy to have you here. You've come to the right place. This is a place where harpists encourage each other and we share our love of harp music and that it's never too late to follow those dreams of playing the harp. And I put up videos every Thursday, either these harp help videos or videos of my own singing and playing. So I'd love to have you a part of that. You can subscribe if you'd like to be notified about my future videos. And I'll see you all again next week, Thursday. Bye.